But first, a quick stop at my place for some road trip food. My friend said it perfect the other day, and like any East Coaster would agree, sometimes you just need a good chicken parm. All right, so we're getting ready to head to Eugene, but the first thing we're gonna do is we're here at my restaurant. We're gonna make some chicken parm sandwiches for the trip. So we have our nice seasoned chicken breast. We already beat the breast. We got a nice breadcrumb with seasoning. And we're just gonna give it a little fry here. And remember, I'm just itching to get up to Eugene. We have so much stuff lined up. I mean, we have breakfast, we have lunch, we have dinner, everything. We're even going to visit the museum again. Who doesn't like going to the museum? Oh, man. Oh, ho, ho. Some fried chicken. That smells good, and that's nice. That's olive oil. Extra virgin. I'm going to cut this. Now what I did is I got some San Marzano tomatoes for you. Okay. We'll put a little bit more of the San Marzano's. After the San Marzano, next we're gonna add some of our homemade ricotta mix. Let's top it with some buffalo mozzarella. I love buffalo mozzarella. It just got the whole different like flavor profile to it. So this is like a, a mixture of mo regular mozz and buffalo mozz. So we're gonna put it in the oven for a little bit. Okay, dokie. That's in there. I did some hurry up bread here. I baked up some bread. So I'm just gonna fillet that for us here. You want a little olive oil on your bread? So this is a nice mix that I kind of put together here. Got a lot of spices, lots of garlic. And I'm gonna paint your bread here. You are going to love this. And if you guys want me to make you a chicken parm, even though it's not on the menu here, it would be my Pleasure. All right, so now I'm gonna finish the bread. We got our olive oil, and now a little Parmesan and a little bit of Romano cheese on there. Take your chicken parm to the next level. We'll let this bake just for a couple seconds here. Right next to Mr. Chicken Parm. There we go. All right, let's give it a couple minutes. Look at that sizzling. Okay, there it is. Oh, let's put one here. And then we're gonna garnish it now. Oh, man. Because sometimes you just have to have a good chicken palm. Chicken palm.